the vice chairman of the University Council and president of Chiang Mai University, Professor Emeritus Avutsi Sukri, Dr. Shiyan Watana Puti, academic chair of the 13th International Conference on Thai Studies, Associate Professor Rom Jira Nukrom, the vice president of International Relations and Alumni Affairs, Chiang Mai University, Professor Catherine Bowie, Professor of Anthropology, University of Wisconsin Medicine. The keynote speakers, Chiang Mai University executives, all our distinguished participants, ladies and gentlemen. I am Vila Wan Sovet Serini, a director of the Center for the Promotion of Arts and Culture, Chiang Mai University, and may I be the master of the ceremony for this official opening session. First of all, I, on behalf of the Chiang Mai University Organizing Committee, would like to welcome all of you to the 13th International Conference on Thai Study, Globalized Thailand, Connectivity, Conflict, and Conundrums of Thai Studies. Chiang Mai University is very pleased and very delighted to host this event for the second time after we first hosted this event back in the year 1996. Our distinguished guests, all participants, ladies and gentlemen, before we begin the official opening ceremony, may I take this opportunity to mention that a few years back, when we were planning to host the 13th International Conference on Thai Studies. We were excited to mark the event as our modest gesture to commemorate the seventh cycle birthday of His Majesty King Pumi Pon Adunyadeh. Sadly, on the 13th of October last year, as you know, that we have lost our greatest king who show us through his personal actions how to appreciate our own roots and respect diversity with inclusion strategies wherever possible. Today's event is thus meant to prove our continued commitment to follow His Majesty King Pumipon's footsteps. Therefore, may I now request all of us to please stand up for a moment of silence to express our deepest gratitude and our pledge to continue our intellectual pursuits in Thai studies. So please. Thank you very much indeed. At this moment, may I take this opportunity to invite Dr. Shiyan Watanaputi, Academic Chair of the 13th International Conference on Thai Studies, to give an introduction report. Please welcome. <laughs> Acting President, <coughs> I would say agree. Acting Vice President, uh, Rom Chiranugon, and Acting Vice President, Avon Opatanakin. <coughs> Respected key keynote speakers, members of the International Advisory Committee of the 13th International Conference on Thai Studies, distinguished guests and participants, Ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> on behalf of the organizing committee, I would like to thank all of you for taking time traveling 
from near and afar <clears throat> to attend this prestigious conference in Chiang Mai. Very, very warm welcome, uh, and <clears throat> we hope that you will enjoy the conference which will be happening from now on and from this evening and for the next three days. <clears throat> Please allow me to use some time, maybe not too long, <clears throat> at, the, at the outset of this conference to give you a brief overview of the conference which we have spent almost uh, three years <clears throat> adversely preparing for it. I would like to highlight our ideas behind the organization of this conference and mention some themes and sub-themes and the way in which we want to see how this conference unfolds in the next three and a half days. I apologize for the inconvenience <clears throat> you may have in going through the thick program book to find your own panel and to find uh, some of the panels that you wish to attend. Uh, we have a large number of uh, papers in this conference. <clears throat> Chiang Mai University used to organize the international con the sixth one, international conference on Thai study in year 1996. Some of you are present here, particularly my <clears throat> respected friend uh, and colleague, uh, Professor Andrew Turton. And this year, it is our privilege to host it for the second time. When we started to conceptualize the conference three years ago, we thought of how we should organize this conference differently from the previous one. We would like to overcome some of the problems, uh, criticism that is, Thai study is, is full of uh, provincialism and methodological nationalism. So <clears throat> we, we thought that uh, we expect this conference in year 2017 to be a platform where scholars of Thai studies can reflect upon uh, <clears throat> the assumptions, approaches, and methodology uh, on how we understand Thai society and critically address the emerging issues facing contemporary Thai society. <clears throat> As Thailand is more engaged with globalization and with ASEAN community, we should encourage uh, our, Thai colleague, our Thai scholars to examine the way in which Thailand is globally and regionally connected. Uh, this is why we have chosen globalized Thailand with uh, <clears throat> question mark as the title of this conference. In addition, we wanted to understand the correlation between globalization and the crisis of democracy and inequality. We also wanted to question the discourse on connectivity in the age of neoliberalism where borders are liberalized and deregulated. Uh, we would like to analyze the difference between the old connectivity and the new connectivity the latter of which seem to facilitate the increased flows of capital and influx of migrant workers. The histories of the relationship between Thailand and the region as well as the world become one important issue for this conference. So <clears throat> in addition, we also would like to see how this conference uh, be an opportunity for Thai scholars to assess and critically examine the state of knowledge on Thai studies. Uh, which direction and orientation of the knowledge of Thai study 
we have subscribed to and how <clears throat> it has been constructed uh, <clears throat> or shaped and contested by various social groups or classes, or whether it is being limited or colored by certain biases or by colors. We also see this international conference on Thai study as a process of knowledge production among local Thai scholars. During the last few years, we have we organized small workshops and seminars in different universities in Thailand. And we also visited Thai uh, study centers in other countries, particularly in Assam, India, and in China. This is that the purpose is to encourage more interest in Thai studies. And we learn, also learn from, learn more about local issues and how different localities in Thailand are affected by liberalized borders and cross-border migration, as well as cross-border investment. In Assam, we saw cultural resilience among different Thai groups and their urge to closely become more connected to Thai brothers. Uh, whereas in China, there, are, there have been a strong interested, interest in, in uh, building more cultural and economic relationship with Thailand. After we place the connectivity as one of the main uh, foci of the conference and call for paper. We have, uh, <clears throat> uh, we, we res <clears throat> the response to the, this theme are very impressive. We received panels proposal from on US-Thailand relation, Russian-Thailand relation, India-Thailand relation, uh, China connecting to Thailand, Japan, Thailand relations. Uh, <clears throat> also, China, Thailand connectivity, encountering Chinese tourists in Thailand, transnational marriage, and transnational intim intimate relation, ties outside Thailand. So we are we have accepted panels and roundtable also on on issues like uh, cross-border investment and cross-border migration. Several panels focus on cultural connectivity. And all of this reaffirm that Thailand cannot be seen as in isolation, <clears throat> uh, not as a bounded entity anymore, but it has a long historical relationship and connectivity with, uh, like, like in the case of Lana uh, as an area of study, uh, it cannot be seen as an isolated, but can, should be concepts, should, it is, uh, has a long history of relationship and connectivity with Sip Song Pan, uh, uh, Northern Burma, uh, Lan Sang, or Luang Prabang. The 13th uh, International Conference on Thai Study also give another emphasis upon the SMS assessment of Thai, of the state of knowledge on Thai studies. We have been supported by the Thailand Research Fund, uh, and we would, we, want, we would wanted to take this op opportunity to look at the existing knowledge, uh, whether we know, how much we know about ourselves, and what uh, the new challenges which we are facing. The paper uh, on state of knowledge on Thai study has, there are 14 of them, and will be presented in this uh, conference. Uh, I, let me give you some example. For example, there's a paper on social inequality, gender and sexuality, uh, mobility turn, modern slavery in Thai fishery, refugees and illegal migrants, uh, crisis of dem democracy. Uh, uh, 
the state of methodological knowledge, a report on the use and abuse of contemporary theories and concepts in Thai studies, for example. So the 13th International Conference on Thai studies, uh, which is being organized now, uh, we plan to have five main uh, components. The first one, as you can see from our program book, it will be the keynote speakers and honorary uh, lecturers, lecturers. We are very honored that the three keynote speakers uh, are with us this time, Professor Catherine Bowie, who will speak on Krubasi Vichai, uh, Professor Michael Hirschfeld on the Thailand and the world, and Professor Duncan McCargo, who will speak uh, on the Ju July the 18th on Thai political present. We also uh, are very honored that uh, Dr. Anat Apapirom, the former Minister of Agriculture and Cooperative, will share his long experience in the issue of water management, which is quite a critical issue in Thailand. The second honorary lecture will be uh, made by our <coughs> uh, Dr. Amasiyamwala, the in an internationally known economist. He will give a talk on Thailand's rice policy based upon his two decades of research on these issues. And more than that, there will be a few others uh, honorary lectures, one by Professor Andrew Turton and another one by Professor Jerry Fry on educational inequality. Special panels have been organized by to pay tribute and respect to our crew in Thai culture. Uh, crew is very important, so we also uh, <coughs> will make a, a, a respect to our crew. Uh, <clears throat> our colleagues who are former students of this crew will hold panels to remember Ajahn Ben Anderson, Dr. Likit Tirawekin, a political scientist from Tamasat University, Dr. Grant Evans, uh, and Dr. Nicholas Tapp. Uh, uh, we will, they will <clears throat> This discuss about the invaluable contribution in the field of Thai studies. These crew have left us, but their work still remain with us and the younger generation of Thai scholars. I would like to report to you that we have received many individual abstracts and panel proposal. We have received uh, several of them uh, we, we have, of course, rejected several of them. Uh, still, we have around 203 panels and roundtables. The total panel, the, to the, to the total papers we, uh, to be presented in this conference uh, is 598. So these can be grouped into 20 subtopics, but I, I hope that I can show it on this. Uh, the number of these. <clears throat> these are the numbers of the papers on that we have received. For example, uh, we have quite an interesting numbers like Thailand and its connectivity in, in Asia, in ASEAN, 41 papers. Thai economy and the global market, 46. The crisis of democracy, 58. <laughs> so, this is quite a crisis. <laughs> And border and border study and special economic zone. See that the, the interest to be connected, 60. 
uh, urbanization, public space, and spatial politics, 20. Land governance, an interesting issue, 19. History and public memory, 48. Lana study, which is very important. If we organize this conference in Chiang Mai, then Lana study should be given some uh, recognition. The vibrant scholars, young scholars of Lana study who would like to present their papers here. So we have about 30 papers. Gender in, and sexuality, uh, 17. Huh? Uh, literature and media and also social media, 33 papers. Culture, heritage, craft, and artisan, 60s, very broad category. Ethnic cities and identity, 14. Migrants, stateless people, refugees, 14. Transnationality, 15. Healthcare, education, about third. It doesn't move. Ah, sorry. Education about thirty. Uh, Thai house and architecture. Sick. Football and politics. Interesting. And of course, spirits, deities, divas, and divination. Emergence or resurgence of rituals. Again, uh, <clears throat> the way in which we tally this may be overlapping. So the, 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 this, is, this shows some trends among the interest of scholars who come to this conference. Now, so So there will be so I, as I said uh, uh, we also have this uh, round table uh, about 20 round tables, and we have uh, interesting uh, uh, topics. For example, Thailand contradiction in labor studies, economic growth and rise, the rise of dictatorial regime in Asia, not in Thailand, huh? in Asia. <laughs> Please note some of you who are following us. We are not talking about Thailand. Huh? Uh, cultivating good Muslims and seeking a better life through formal education. Citizen engagement in health. Impact of regional policy on human rights in the Mekong communities. Southern Thailand, Patani at the peace talk. What is going on? Migrant workers as consequence of land grabs and socially engaged research and unlearn lessons from the 22nd May 2014 coup d'etat, for example. So these are some interesting, uh, just an example. There are 20 uh, round tables in this conference. So we invite you to participate in exchange with resource person, speakers in this round table, including some villages whom we invite to attend this conference. And besides these academic panels and round table, there are also special film program. Uh, the title is called The Strange Facts of the An Estranged Land, Independent Cinema and Civic Voices in Thailand, organized by the Faculty of Political Science, Chiang Mai University and also several documentary film screening uh, through the whole three days of this conference. We have book launch program as well as interesting exhibition focused on 24 themes which are related to the themes of this uh, uh, international conference on Thai studies. Uh, 
the conference cannot be possible without the support and kind of cooperation from various institutions, groups, and individuals. I cannot mention all the names of the people whom I am truly and sincerely grat grateful for their genuine support. But I would like to mention a few names. Uh, first, the Thailand Research Fund, TDRI, Thailand Development Research Institute, Asia Foundation, Conrad Adenau Stiftung, U.S. Embassy in Thailand, Indian Embassy in Thailand, Dutch Embassy in Thailand, JICA. And our collaborative uh, institution, that is, uh, Mahidon University Institute of Pu Population Study Research, uh, Chulalongkorn Social Research Institute, Taikadi Research Institute in at Tamasat, Kondikan University Faculty of Humanities and Social Science, and Kasetsat University Faculty of Social Science. All of these are collaborative <coughs> or are partner in organizing this conference. We are indebted to the Indian the International Advisory Committee, especially Dr. Chanwit Kaset Siri, Dr. Nipon Pua Pongsakorn, Dr. Craig Reynolds, Dr. Philip Hurst, Dr. Tongchai Vinishakun, who cannot join, join us in this conference, and Dr. Suwanna Satanan, as well as mem members of the academic committees and various friends and colleagues, some of whom are with us today or in spirit. Special thanks for to, to Acting Vice President Rome Jayanukom, Vice President Awon Opat Patanakit, Dean Tepin, and all staff from Social Science and International Relation uh, uh, Division of Shima University. And above all, I also thank all speakers, panel, presenters, and international and Thai participants who have joined this conference. And make this fun on, and will help make this conference intellectually stimulating and memorable. Uh, to end my remark or my report, uh, I intend I I, uh, I strongly regret that some of the speaker who should have been with us in this conference cannot attend. In fact, we intend to. Uh, keep this conference as a space for freedom of expression within the academic context, but somehow some of our colleagues cannot join. So I really regretful for their absence. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Dr. Shiyan. May I now invite Professor Amaritus Awutsi Sukri, the Vice Chairman of Chiang Mai University Council and also the Acting President to deliver a welcome speech and to officially open the conference. Please welcome Kograp Rienchen Ka. Good afternoon, everyone. I will take up only a little time for my official function. Distinguished participants, friends and colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to be with you today at the 13th International Conference on Thai Studies. On behalf of Chiang Mai University, May I express our warm welcome to you, especially our friends from overseas, who I hope will feel like coming back to your Thai home after we gather here in 1996. This year's conference theme on globalized Thailand, connectivity, conflict, and conundrums is timely as deeper understanding and better balance 
of Thai studies are crucially needed in the more connected, more conflicted, and more conundrums than any time in the recent, recent history. Chiang Mai University, being host to the Thai Studies Conference 20 years, 21 years ago, has been going through changes and challenges, not only from within the country, but also from globalization and speedy technological advances. We are even more confirmed that Thai studies must remain high. On our university agenda and why our academic con concerted efforts have to stand stronger to find favorable, favorable solutions in the innovative means to solve conflicts and relieve conundrums. When thinking of Thailand or Chiang Mai today, I could be like one branch on a tree. Uh, connected to other peoples and places through the root of history. And those many other branches are many histories, identities, and, and cultures. Thai, Lana, Mueang, and Thai, and many more. As we explore these histories, we see how our Thai identity of today is indeed a globalized one. And it is you, friends and colleagues, and who are doing the hard work of digging into the rich and deep diversity of past and present, and whose scholarship and knowledge we have gathered to share in this conference. I sincerely hope that Chiang Mai University can act as a catalyst and collaborator for us here to create new knowledge and weave strong networks that this conference promises to offer. May I thank the organizing committee and the team for their ad admirable planning and energy to make this conference possible. Thanks go to all of you who participate in this conference. As time is now auspicious, may I declare open the 13th International Conference on Thai Studies. I hope you all will enjoy the intellectual discussions and that you find some time to experience the changes and nuance of Chiang Mai has turned to be. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Our Vice President of Chiang Mai University, Professor Emeritus Avutsi Sukri.